All right. Hey, everybody. It's GTSH Productions here with the first part of the Q&A. I'm just sitting down and doing this all in one recording. I am just improv in it. I'm, I don't have a script. And I have about 50 questions here for the first part. And uh, this first part alone is going to be channel related, so to that are now related. You get the gist. So the first question that is on everyone's mind is how much longer do we have to wait for season two? And my answer that, to that is unfortunately very fuzzy. Um, I don't have an exact date. The current goal is to release the first episode of season two by early next year. And by early, I mean like the first or second week of January. Um, that is the ideal time I'd like to do it. I don't know if it's going to happen by that time, but that is the goal. How is season two going? Season two is a slow ass process. Jesus Christ, this is taking forever, but I'm very excited. I haven't even started filming it and I'm just so excited. Um, so here's what's done. Three episodes are basically done. Uh, 11, 12, 16 needs a bit of editing. Um, 13 and 14 are being rewritten. 15 is undergoing its first draft. 17 has just begun its first draft. 18, 19, and 20 are basically fully developed. I have all of the engines I need, buildings I still need to acquire, and um, rolling stock. I'm all, I'm all good. Um, there's a couple road vehicles I have coming in the mail, and I have like two engines coming in the mail. And then other than that, we are good. Um, I have pretty much the entire cast assembled. I think I'm missing like six characters and yeah, that's the current state of it as of June 7th, 2023 at 1230 in the morning. Yes, I'm recording that early in the morning. Um, all right. Which characters are important in season two, which are less prominent? Um, I'm not going to give away exact details, but I will say, look out for James, Oliver, Sir Handel, Charles, and I guess Donald and Douglas. They are all going to have big roles in season two. Um, some other characters like Gordon, Edward, Henry, and, uh, Percy, they're going to have a lot of side roles. And then I will say that, like, pretty much every character introduced in season one has a prominent role in some way. But I will say Thomas is going to take a bit of a back seat. So, yeah. When are the other remaster epi episodes coming? And the shorts. Um, those have been really slow going just because I haven't had the motivation to work on them. It's just, like, basically just going back in time and fixing errors. And that's, like, really annoying. So... Um, episode two is coming. I'm trying to get it out by the end of the month, but I've been saying that for three months now. Um, I feel like once I get episode two out, the rest will just be a breeze and I can blow through them really quickly. So I'm kind of hoping that like, once I get episode two done, it'll just kind of kick me to get the rest done and just get it over with. Um, I want to make them good still, but obviously I have a bigger fish to fry with season two. Um, are the narrow gauge engines all right after season one? And this next group of questions is regarding stuff that's already happened. So the first of which is, are the narrow gauge engines all right after season one? Um, individually, uh, Peter Sam is fine. He was like basically unfazed. Reneas is still in the works. Scarlowi was beat up pretty bad by Diesel 10, uh, and his claw. Sir Handel's fine. Um, he's just a bit shaken up. Uh, Rusty and Duncan were pretty heavily damaged, and they're at the works as well. So Scarlowi, Rusty, and Duncan are at the works. Renee's is at crew. Sir Handel and Peter Sam are once again left to fend for themselves, just the two of them. It's crazy that that's like the third time that that's happened. But, um, yeah. Why weren't more people working for Boomer and Diesel 10? Because Boomer isn't like some crazy... Well, he is crazy. He isn't like some high, pristine person. He's a crazy, drunken maniac. And he just, the all he had was his son, his diesel that he built, and the three other diesels that he basically kind of stole. And that's all he had. He had those resources and whatever militia he could get his hands on. So that's that was Boomer. 
He didn't. He he's not some. He's not some big threat. He's just a maniac, and he caused a lot of damage and a lot of uh, a lot of uh emotions. But that that's the extent of him. He's not some some big baddie. He's just a maniac. Is Hero still on that siding at Wellsworth? Um, he's still on Sodor, but he's not on that specific siding. He's in the area. That's what I'll say. When were Percy and James built in your series? James was built in 1911, and Percy was built in 1926. Why did you use Lego figures for filming over other means? Capsule figures, wooden figures, etc.? I wanted to use Lego figures because they are more diverse in the way they look and they're more expressive. The human characters are going to be really important, especially later on in the series, and I want them to be able to be in scale with the engines to a decent amount, even though they're technically a little big, and I want them to all look different because I'm going to have a lot of different human characters. And now it won't just be like one or two dominating. We're going to see all four hats we're going to see all of the Hats families, their their wives, their children, their siblings, and also um, we're going to see a lot of the Norman family. The Norman family is going to step into that role later, and like we're talking like season four down the road. So Lego figures are essential for that. Uh, why did you choose Tomy models for your series? Because that's what I had as a kid. I had a little bit of Wooden Railway, and I had a decent amount of take-along, but we sold them about a decade ago. I haven't seen them in a hot minute. And I always preferred Tomy and uh, Trackmaster, and I always thought they looked better. I love that they ran and all that. Why do you use uh, the Trackmaster narrow gauge engines instead of Take Along or Wooden Railway? Why not use Wooden Railway models for the narrow gauge engines to make them look smaller? Uh, similar reasons, I just have them. I don't want to invest in not only the Wooden narrow gauge engines, but also the track and the destinations and the rolling stock. And in my opinion, I don't care much for the wooden railway rolling stock or the take along rolling stock, especially. I think both are incredibly limited. So I'm very content with using just the Trackmaster ones. Um, the, the smallies, however, are going to be capsule. Uh, they, I have a few capsule trucks. I plan on ordering more once I get around to season three because they're not showing up until season three. Um, and I do, I do have some capsule track on the way as well. Um, would you still use Trackmaster if they didn't move? Honestly, probably just because I think they look better and I like the track. I like the buildings. I like the rolling stock, especially. I think Trackmaster has easily the best rolling stock selection out of any merch range. So I think that's, that's a no brainer. For season two, will you get some new models for the engines? Yes, I've actually gone about doing that for almost every engine. I think every engine that wasn't in need of a replacement um, didn't, but every engine that was in need of a replacement got one with one exception, and I believe that exception is Duncan. And I, I might... I'm not going to replace Lady, but I will eventually send Lady to Farquhar to get the eyes painted. Um, but as for Duncan, I would love to get my hands on a Tommy one. Um, I found several, but they're beat up and they're either beat up or expensive and I'm not paying more than $20 for a Duncan. So yeah. Does anyone die in season two? I'm not going to reveal that. I will say I know of at least one character that does. I haven't really figured out. There's a couple characters where I'm just like, do I want to kill them here or season three? So I know of at least one. Um, does Duck come back in season three? Did he die? What happened to Duck? So Duck, I've deliberately left conspicuous as well as the uh, most of the other engines, specifically Reneus. I've left uh, conspicuous alongside Duck. I'm not going to reveal whether he died or survived or what's happening with him. I'm not going to reveal it. I think uh, keeping that up in the air adds, adds the suspense. I think it's going to keep it interesting. Does Reneus return in Season 2? Again, keeping that up in the air. And there's a few other characters that uh, people asked about. So there were four other people asked about. And those were Duck, Reneus, Diesel 10, and, Bo and uh, Peter Boomer. Will Diesel 10 come back? I'm not going to reveal it. Will Peter Boomer return? I'm not going to reveal it. Will Lady be an important character in Sodor than in Now? 
Yes, Lady has a huge role in season two. She appeared in, um, epi- she's going to appear, I just realized that I'm spoiling this, she's going to appear in episode two, she appeared in the Ceremonies of Honor short, and I think that's all she appeared in season one. Um, season two, she's going to have a much bigger role. I'm not going to explain how. Will we get to see the Narragage engines? We've already seen six of them, plus we saw Duke for a scene. Um, we will be seeing more of them. And also Proteus. We saw Proteus as a ghost. We will be seeing more of them. Will we get to see Ivo, Hugh, and Fred? Eventually, not anytime soon. Will Neil have a role in season two? Not season two. I have not even decided if I want Neil in the series because getting that seems tough. Uh, I don't know what to use. If I introduce Neil, I feel like I'm almost obligated to use Clive and Matthew as well. And that's three box tank engines that are hella expensive to make. So I haven't decided. Will Nia and Rebecca appear? Um, I haven't decided. Nia, I'm leaning towards no. Rebecca, I'm leaning towards yes. I feel like Nia, she just seems like... I don't know. I don't want to say, like, out of place. But I just don't like how they approached the character of Nia... And I feel like including her, just it it's just not a good move. Rebecca, I'm also like iffy on. I'm honestly iffy on any character introduced post-season 21. So Rebecca isn't 100%, but I definitely say she has a better shot than Nia. Will the Tugs appear in your series? Um, This is one that I've debated, and right now I'm leaning towards no, simply because I just don't know how I would make them. Um, that you can make, you can, like, I swear, the, 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 uh, the S&M engines would be way easier to make than the tugs, just because, like, I don't know what boat resources to use for the tugs. Will Murdoch be red in your series? No, he's gonna be orange. What was your inspiration for Sodor Then and Now? Who inspired you to make your series? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and rapid fire a bunch of people, um, off the top of my head. Um, Enterprising Engine 93, Famous 8, Cyber Rusty, um, Thomas 1, Edward 2, Henry 3, Sidekick Jason, um, God, who else? Blue Snowplow, and outside of that, I've taken great inspiration, especially for Season 2. From a lot of uh, a lot of Star Wars shows, especially Andor, and I've taken a lot of liberties from The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Age of Calamity, and now uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, how many seasons will Sodor then and now have? The current goal is eight to twelve. Will any main characters die in Sodor then and now? I cannot tell you just because I haven't decided. There's one where I'm like 95% sure that, yes, this character is going to die eventually. But I haven't decided when or 100% if that's going to happen. There are about 10 to 15 characters, very prominent characters, engines that I've contemplated killing. Um, If you saw the short, you'll know that I contemplated killing Diesel. In the season one finale. That was very close to happening. Um, and as for other characters I've contemplated killing. Whether it be like now or in the future. Obviously since we're going you know pretty far in the timeline. Obviously Charles is not going to be there all the way. Um, George Hugh is not going to be there all the way. Loam. Uh, and uh, I and uh, Adam Norman's mother obviously. For example. Not all those characters are going to make it. I'm not going to reveal when, but a lot of those characters are going to die. I'm not even going to discuss the engines that I've contemplated killing because honestly, I frankly, I consider killing half of them. So, will I kill half of them? Absolutely not. That would be beyond corny. So, I'm going to be very select in the engines I kill, if any. How do the engines function biologically in your series? I haven't quite decided... Um, biologically, I mean, they just come to life when they're started up and they're fully built. Um, uh, psychologically and mentally, they think a lot differently than humans, despite having similar 
um, mind abilities in that like their brains function and that they're able to process information and, uh, and, uh, remember information similar to, to humans, but they have different aspirations. They aren't like humans in that they want to go like be an athlete or be a doctor or something like that with their lives. They have more lower level expectations for themselves because they're vehicles and they're not humans. Um, what is your favorite part of filming episodes? Am I cool? Am I outside your house right now? Have I made my way into your house? I am in your house. Start running. Oh, shh. Anyway, um, my favorite part of filming episodes is definitely like blasting music as I do it. The, the reason that it's hard to capture bloopers now is because I am blasting copyrighted music, most specific, more specifically, a lot of rap music as I'm filming and it's a lot of fun, but I'm probably going to have to turn the music down. So it's not heard as easily when I'm filming season two, so I can accumulate some bloopers. Um, on top of that, I love I love experimenting. I did a lot of experimenting when I was filming the short films and remasters. And you're going to see that as the rest of them come out. I think I have four uh, shorts and three remasters left. You're going to see a lot of film experiment experimenting with uh, the Renea short and the episode four remaster. Do you do voice acting? I have voice acted for a couple people. I have a playlist on my channel of projects I've contributed in. I have um, a good five or six more projects that I'm currently a part of that are coming out within either the next like couple months to a year. I have a few projects that I'm taking part in. Some are private projects for my, for my friends. Some are bigger projects. I know off the top of my head... I can list you a couple. Um, I am in uh, one of Ren Prod's videos. I am in one of the Pannier Jester's videos. I am in one of Coldy Fell 1's videos. I am in one of Cyber Rusty's videos. And I'm in one of Train Club's videos. There's a couple others off the top of my head, but I can't really... I, I'm, like, brain dead, so I can't think of them. What character do you enjoy writing the most currently i'm having a blast writing oliver but i'm very excited to start writing donald um what is your favorite custom um i didn't make any of the customs but i will say flying scotsman looks fantastic and so does oliver and so does d261 Um, worst filming mistake. I don't know if I still have the clip, but there's two, there's three that come to mind and all three involve engines falling off of sets back in 20. The first one was back in 2019 where I filmed like 10 engines in the Knapford yard shed, uh, uh, not shit set. And, um, I had stopping things for almost all of them except Molly. I totally forgot about Molly. I think the thing was either turned off or just she just didn't have one and she flopped over and she was on like the high part too. She was, she she took a harder fall. She flopped over the edge and just bam fell smack on the floor. No damage miraculously. And um the same thing happened. I was filming episode 8. It was the large like countryside set like um, if you go back, I, I could probably pull the picture up on, on screen here, but it's the shot, like the same set with the shot with duck, like the far shot of him being pushed by the trucks. I filmed a stock footage shot of that with Gordon and James. I managed to stop Gordon in time, but James flopped over. I think there's a blooper of it. James flopped over and fell off the table. And, uh, he also miraculously had no damage and he was pulling two red coaches. So... That was miraculous. And then the third one happened during Boomer's reign. Douglas fell off the table, and because he's a cheap old knockoff, his tender coupling snapped. Um, it was it's been it's since been replaced, obviously. But uh, yeah, I had to film the rest of Boomer's reign with Douglas carrying tape between him and his tender, and it reminded me of the good old days back when Donald had to do that. Um, yeah. How do the engines get faces in your alternate universe? Uh, I kind of explained it earlier. Um, they kind of just pop up as they're started up for the first time. 
If you made an OC, how would you go about it? I currently don't have any plans to make an OC. I plan to use Wild Northwestern's OCs, at least a couple of them. Um, I've gotten his permission. And, uh, I mean, I guess you can count, like, Eric as an OC. I guess you can count Thomas's brothers as an OC. But, or as OCs. But, like, do people really count that? Tug's head cannons. Um, I don't really have any. I haven't watched Tug's in a good three years. So I'd have to go back. And uh, I don't really know much about the universe that much. So, Do you have Thomas head cannons? Yes. It's called Sodor Then and Now. If I were to do the $5 monthly subscription, do I get to join some of the streams and get to know you better? Um, that is a perk that is interesting. I'm definitely not opposed to that. So the, the, the membership thing, I'm low-key thinking about shutting it down. Not a single person has joined. I might open up a Patreon later on, but I might close down the membership uh, thing. What would you do if you reached 100,000 subscribers? I have no idea. If I haven't already, I'd probably do a face reveal, but um, I, I don't know. I haven't even thought about that. I'm almost at 3K, but I, I haven't thought about 100. I doubt I'll ever get there. Will the logging loco... Okay, shout out this guy. This guy put something in a different language and maybe Google Translate it. So it says, will the logging locos logging milks from translator... At least that's what I have written down in my notes. So shout out Dark Lightning 1536. Where do you get your ballast from? I got it from a hobby a hobby shop about two to three years ago. I need more desperately. I need like two or three more bags for season two because I'm gonna have a lot more uh, of bigger sets that I need more ballast for. So cleaning up ballast is a b but I need it. Where did the name GTSH Productions come from? Um, for those that don't know, GTSH is an acronym for my favorite character from the Disney Cars franchise, the Mario franchise, and the Thomas franchise. And this, uh, those characters are Grem, Toad, and Sir Handel. Why is Sir Handel your PFP? Again, uh, Sir Handel is my favorite character. Will you ever do anything with Soda or Fallout? F no. And with that... Um, that is the first part of the Q&A. The next part will tackle just Thomas-related questions. So, I'll see you all then.